Okay, this video is on factoring using the greatest common factor, or GCF. And typically when you go to factor an expression, the first thing you want to look for is are there any greatest common factors that I can pull out of my expression? For example, if I want to factor this expression right here, 3x minus 15, first thing I want to ask myself is are there any factors that are common to both of these terms? And if there are, then I want to pull those out. That's called pulling out the greatest common factor. So in this case, I can see that this, is, this term is 3x, this term is negative 15. Well, I know 3 will go into both of those terms. It will divide evenly into both of those terms. So I can pull out a 3 from this term, and I can pull out a 3 from this term. And when I say pull out, that's just another uh, way of saying I'm going to factor it out. So if I pull out that 3, and I write it over here, well, now I just want to ask myself, well, if I pull out the 3, if I factor out the 3, what's left in each one of those terms? Well, if I pull out a 3 out of this term, well, I just have x left, because 3 times x will give me 3x. And if I pull a 3 out of negative 15, well, then I'm going to have negative 5 left, because 3 times negative 5 is negative 15. And notice you can always check yourself on these kinds of problems, because once you have finished with the factoring here, you can check yourself by using the distributive property and see if when you distribute this through here and do that multiplication, do you get the same expression that you started out with? And if I do that, I can see, well, 3 times x is 3x, 3, 3 times negative 5 is negative 15, and sure enough, that's exactly what I started with. So I know I factored that expression correctly. Let's take a look at example 2. Factor this expression, 6x squared minus 15x. So again, I want to look for a common factor in each of these two terms. And if I just look at the coefficients here, if I just look at the number part, then I can see, let's see, 3 will go into 6, and 3 will also go into 15. So there is a factor that I can pull out. But I also notice that I can pull out another factor, because this is an x squared term, and this is an x term. I can pull out a factor of x from each term also. So my greatest common factor between these two terms is going to be not just 3, but 3x, because 3 will go evenly into this term and this term, and x will also divide evenly into this term and this term. So, once I know that that's my greatest common factor, then I just want to ask myself, well, what's going to be left over then out of each of these terms when I pull out my 3x? So if I pull out 3x here, let's see, I'm going to be left with 2x for this term, and I know that's right because 3x times 2x will give me 6x squared. And if I pull a 3x out of this term, then let's see, I'm going to be left with negative 5. Because 3x times negative 5 will give me negative 15x. And again, I could use my distributive property and check myself. 3x times 2x is 6x squared. 3x times negative 5 is negative 15x which is what I started out with. All right, now sometimes you have expressions that have more than two terms. In fact, you could have expressions that have more than three terms. You could have any number of terms. And if you're factoring expressions with multiple terms, then you just want to make sure that in order to find the, the greatest common factor, you have to have the factor that will go into all of the terms. So in this case, I would like to, I can see this, this expression looks kind of similar to this one. So I'm thinking, well, maybe I can pull out a 3x for, I can factor out a 3x for this expression also, except while 3x is a factor of this term and it's also a factor of this term, it's not a factor of this term because notice this term does not have an x in it. So I can't pull out 3x. However, I notice that 3, I can pull a 3 out of this term, I can pull a 3 out of this term, I can pull a 3 out of this term. So 3 is going to be my greatest common factor for this expression. So if I pull a 3 out of this expression, let's see what I have left. 3, that's going to leave me 2x squared. And let's see, if I pull a 3 out of negative 15, that's going to be negative 5x. And then finally, I pull a 3 out of here, and that's just going to leave me with a positive 1. Again, I can use my distributive property to check and see if I have, in fact, factored this correctly. And I would just say 3 times 2x squared, that's 6x squared, 3 times negative 5x, that's negative 15x, and 3 times positive 1 is just positive 3, and that's exactly the expression that I started with. 
Now, occasionally you get an expression like, for example, this expression right here. Occasionally you get an expression and you can't pull out a greatest common factor. Notice that for this expression right here, I do have a common factor of 3x for this term and this term, but I can't pull a 3x out of this term. In fact, there is no factor that will divide evenly into 6x squared and negative 15x and positive 7. And just because I could pull out a common factor from two of my terms, if I can't pull it out of all of my terms, then I cannot factor this expression. So this expression is, we would just say, not factorable.